And the saints are now so evil I don't know why I'm still surprised Even angels have their wicked schemes And you take that to new extremes But you'll always be my hero I was born into a very musical family. From the time I can remember, <laughs> I was singing, and I was put on stage at six professionally. And that was kind of the beginning of my passion for performing. And from that point on, music was the only career I wanted. Yeah. I learned so much from all of those years of performing with my mom. She used to say, a Christmas tree is just a tree until you turn on the Christmas lights. So imagine right now that you're that tree, and when you walk out on that stage, turn on your Christmas tree lights and you will shine. All I, remember is you I actually still think about that to this day when I'm not in the mood to perform. You get into folk singing, and this is, is this, is this a family thing, or is yeah. this just the music you... My mom um, and I had a folk duo, and I started performing with her when I was six years old, and then I went solo when I was 14. <laughs> she wasn't too happy about that. <laughs> <laughs> mom, I am leaving you but I still need you to drop me at all my gigs. Exactly, <laughs> exactly. Uh, and then I moved to LA when I was 17, got a record deal. I dropped out of high school, moved out to LA by the time I was 17. Got a record deal with um, Machine Shop, part of Warner Brothers through Lincoln Park. Then I had a hit song out of nowhere, totally unexpected. I did a collaboration with Mike Shinoda called Where'd You Go? This whole like making the video thing is kind of like the introduction to Holly in a certain way. So, um, hi, glad you could make it. This is my friend Holly. Holly, this is the, the people. Hello. We're just uh, finishing up Where'd You Go shoot and um, we're glad that you're here to say hello. So, uh, yeah, enjoy yourself. Let's go! Yeah. For those of you that want to know what we're all about, it's like this, yo. It's really cool 
cool that they're finding people that can relate to the song in such a deep way. Families who have been through this, you know, um, loneliness and having a family member always be gone. Okay, sit in and play back, please. By the way, if we if we happen to play a Fort Minor show in town, in your town, um, and Holly happens to come out and sing at the show, then do me a favor and do the label a favor and do all of her friends a favor. Don't give her any alcohol because she's underage. Listen to him. She's 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 19 years old. She's not allowed. See, this is typical, right? This uh, all of the fans out there who aren't 21 yet. You guys all do exactly what she's doing right now, and that's like, oh man. Yeah, Don't I'm not. Go I'm not going out buying liquor for you guys, nor you. Holly Brooke on it. Holly Brooke. People, a lot of people write songs about being on the road. Uh huh. And nobody really writes songs about from the perspective of the people who they leave at home. Right. My wife has cried three times listening to this song. Wow. Yeah, she cries like every time I play it. Wow. Okay. So we know we can't. You can't touch that. <laughs> Performing their hit single from their debut CD, The Rising Tide. Please welcome Fort Minor featuring Holly Brooke. Thank you, Jay. Thank you for uh, having us back. I'm going to play my title song off my record called Like Blood Like Honey. You want to get 
Catch your breath if you wanna get out. But as you surface, you don't really know how how to live upon the solid ground. Well, sometimes it's just easier to let yourself drown. Cause love is thick like blood, like
things fell apart. I went broke and I left LA for a while. Um, and I had a bad taste in my mouth about the music industry in general. And out in the woods in Oregon, I fell back in love with music and um, decided I had to figure out a way to make a living at it because I wasn't good at anything else. Right. I was a high school dropout and all the jobs I tried, I sucked at. So <laughs> I was like, music has to work. <laughs> um, and then you go to Oregon and you just, like you said, you're in the woods. So it's like the animals, they're just like, yeah, we don't listen to music. <laughs> Is, is, that, exactly. is, that what, is that what you're going to do now? Is that, are you going to find no, a way to keep No, I was talking Oregon... to myself in the woods. I was my only, seriously, I was my only feedback. So it was, I was my only opinion out there. Did which... you, because now, now I'm picturing you as like one of those Disney princesses who like sing to the animals and then they, they like stick their heads out and like, <laughs> and then the animal's like, yeah, that was, uh, that was pretty good. That was pretty good. Yeah. Um, and so I reached out to my publisher and I was like, how can we do this? And, and she um, had just signed a guy named Alex the Kid, a producer, um, and she connected us on email. And that's how Love the Way You Lie happened. It was like the first song after this soul searching experience. I am taking you behind the scenes of Love the Way You Lie. This is my studio and it's pretty similar to the one I had 10 years ago when I was living in a cabin in the woods and I was totally broke. I had zero dollars to my name. Then I was connected with a producer named Alex the Kid who started sending me tracks via email. It was called Beat 524. So I wrote a hook. This was his response. I love the concept and song title. I think the melody can be stronger though. <laughs> Let's go find that original recording. Just gonna stand there and watch me burn. Well, that's all. On the first page of our story, the future seemed so bright. Then the same turned out so evil. I don't know. I went through a difficult few years uh, where I just really changed, you know, hard times really change you. And so I um, came out of this terrible um, period of time feeling stronger than I ever had. You know, what doesn't kill you makes you stronger. So um, Skylar Grey to me is like the superhero version of myself. When I turn on the TV and see, you know, music videos or if I see live performers, I felt like there was this void for women who are sexy without forcing the subject. I can be sexy through my music and let the music speak first.
I think it's important for an artist to take their art beyond their music, not just how it sounds, but also what they wear and how they present themselves. And so I think my style fits my the attitude of my music. And it's a little bit, you know, edgy and dark, but there's a fun aspect to it as well. All right, Skylar, this is it, man. I'm going to open up the phone line. Skylar Gray is here, 888-742-3345. You can play some stuff live for for the citizens? Well, yeah. Let's check and see if this is all working. Okay. Um, well, it all started. I was just going to play some of this stuff in case people weren't aware. Um, this is a hook that I wrote. Just going to stand there and watch me burn. That's so right. Cause I like the way it hurts You're just gonna stand there and hear me cry Well that's alright Because I love the way you lie I love the way you lie <laughs> They got their hands up in here like going back and forth Where's the lighters? Where's my lighter? Where's my lighter? <laughs> Um, so that, you know, is kind of what started it all for me. Damn. What about, um, can you play some of the other stuff you were featured on, like um, the Four Minors joint? Can you play that? Dude, I can't remember that. You can't remember <laughs> that one? Okay. Uh, what about the, I need, <laughs> I need a doctor. What about this one? Oh, I can play that one. Okay. Okay. How about, I'm going to distort this. Okay. Okay. <laughs> just, oh. I'm about to lose my mind. You've been gone for so long I'm running out of time I need a doctor Call me a doctor I need a doctor, doctor To bring me back to life Bring me back to life I'm coming home, I'm coming home Tell the world I'm coming home Let the rain wash away All the pain of yesterday I know my kingdom awaits And they've forgiven my mistakes I'm coming home, I'm coming home Tell the world I'm coming Oh. Wow, man. Oh, hold up. Stop. Let's just take a moment, man. <laughs> just got to take a moment sometimes. Crying? Yeah, crying. I'm, I'm, I'm touched. I'm touched. <laughs> I'm, I'm touched. I wrote Invisible about a year ago. At the, around the same time, I was doing the hooks, Love the Way You Lie, and I Need a Doctor. It's a song that kind of just came about because of the idea that before I came back into the music industry as Skylar Gray, I was this person in the world who was kind of lost. And my name was Holly, that's the name I was born with. And I just felt like I didn't know who I was. So I spent some time in solitude in the woods up in Oregon and retreated and just wanted to figure out my place in the world. And I, you know, chopped wood and 
went outside to use the bathroom, cooked for myself every day. It was just this really intense growth period where I felt like I grew up and became a completely different person. And so then when I wrote Love the Way You Lie and got sucked back into the music industry, I felt like I wasn't Holly anymore and I needed to relabel myself. So the reason I'm telling you all of that is because Invisible is kind of the song about Holly. She felt invisible, even invisible to herself. And the whole concept of my album is this journey from being invisible to becoming invincible. And that's how I picture Skylar Grey as this invincible kind of superhero version of me.
morning gorgeous I drove your truck in a lane It doesn't really matter where I am when I'm writing. I have to have a cup of tea. And I have to feel isolated. And sometimes headphones are all I need to feel isolated. You can hear what I was hearing. You keep Throw a little effects on there. But you won't win this fight. You're just fucking yourself and you don't breathe a sigh. So this is how I write all my music, basically. I have my laptop, I have a pair of headphones. I import a beat into GarageBand, and then I use GarageBand almost as a tape recorder and just lay down rough ideas. And then you'll hear things like Come On, Let Me Ride with Eminem on it. I really like working with rappers because you can tell more of a story. Come On, Let Me Ride, to me, is like almost a spoof on all the over-sexualized things that we have in pop culture today. Sometimes I wish I'd never found The album was supposed to come out last year, but I didn't want to rush it again. This time I just wanted to make sure the work was there. It was, had to be perfect. And so it took an extra year for me to, to, to finish the album. And during that process, Eminem came on board to executive produce it. And I wrote a ton of new songs. I almost felt like it was my responsibility to follow the talent that I was born with. Because if I didn't, if I just did what everybody else did, at the end of the day, would I be happy with who I was if I didn't really just follow my own intuition? One of the things I learned when I was living in a cabin was I realized how unimportant all of my worries were. Like, they really don't mean anything. And I feel like I, I carry that with me. I have a deeper appreciation for things than a lot of people. And I feel grateful to have learned that. Okay, I'm ready. You're high up on the tower, now don't look down. I will be okay here on the ground. And you can always call to say hello from time to time. When you're no longer mine. The beginning half of the album writing process, I was really focused on my journey when I was living in Oregon in that cabin and kind of coming into this new version of me. I had actually been dreaming about having a cabin in the woods with a recording studio in it and then suddenly it fell into my lap and it was there that I experimented with my sound and really figured out who I wanted to be as an artist. But this is where all the inspiration came from, you know, just being here by myself and thinking a lot and reflecting a lot. No, maybe I'll leave a piece of wood from the stump as a pick. Oh, you didn't bring the pick? Yeah. yeah. truck in the lake last night hope she was worth it don't worry I slept just fine you keep throwing punches but you won't win this fight you're just fucking yourself when you don't read the signs I'm going to
one more, because actually I kind of like the way I'm singing it right now. This is your final warning. There's a dark cloud overhead. This is your final warning. Just remember what I said. Cause someone's gonna get hurt. Na 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 na. Cause someone's gonna get hurt. And it's not gonna be me. I'm really grateful to have Eminem on board as executive producer. It's called Don't Look Down and it's coming out in July. So, um, you want to do a little Skylar Gray? Yeah. Uh, talk about Skylar Gray, Dad. And uh, we did a little Googling and found out it was Skylar Gray who is this songwriter and has written all kinds of amazing songs. Like, Dude, so good. She had this album, which is... Um, the album that the song I'm going to play is part of. But the rest of the songs on the album were also a huge part of my life. And she had this song called Wear Me Out that was like, I remember thinking, if I could write a song, I would want to write this song. You're on the set of my video for Wear Me Out. All right, here we go. Pictures up. The song is just about learning things the hard way and being okay with that. Smart ass little girl. Always on the run Playing with fire And daddy's gun Falling in love On stolen wine Where did we go wrong My foolish child She said I'm too young To drink Too green To think
that song, I was just like this, you know, because I was like, what, like a 10 or 11 listening to it. And she was so cool. And she, oh, my God, she's so cool. And I don't know, Wear Me Out really like inspired me. And I think like inspired the way that I write. It's, yeah, this is Final Warning. It's a very dope song, I gotta say. Someone's gonna get hurt and it's not gonna be me. It's oh my god, I thought that was the coolest thing in the and that world. Harmony on, that harmony on this is your final warning yeah. is so it's so haunting. Uh, so haunting, yeah. yeah it's was so that good. fifth or something? Do you remember what it was? It just sounds so open and dark. Yeah, I think it is a fifth. It would be this. That's a sixth, I think. Anyway, it's just so open and haunting. Gosh.
The title of the album, obviously it sounds kind of morbid at first. It sounds like I'm talking about death, but I'm actually um, talking about life. Nature is a huge part of my life. It really inspires my lyrics and my state of happiness. I grew up in the woods in Wisconsin. I live in Utah now. I spent a lot of time in the woods in Oregon as well. So nature has always just been a huge part of my life. I feel at home there. Like I feel like I'm in touch with my innocence. Natural causes to me actually means like nature causes everything. I do think about how songs are going to come across live a lot because I've toured a lot and I know how I want to do my shows. I've, I've done tours where I'm stuck behind a piano the whole time and it's like really slow, you know, ballad music and I don't want to do that. I've played some of these songs uh, on previous tours but the music wasn't out yet. So this is the first tour where people actually had the music before they came to the shows and it was so fun to watch people singing along. Like I get such a kick out of that. I love it. Once, once in your life. I have so much fun just, you know, putting a lot of energy into my performances. So that's why there's songs on my album like Straight Shooter. It's so fun to perform live. Natural Causes, which is available right now. Go mad for Skylar Gray! Yeah.
festival is really fun. I'm glad I was a part of it. I get less nervous on tour because I'm doing the same thing every day and I get into a routine and then it's like easier. But when I'm doing one-offs, I get really nervous because it's like I haven't played this set before. Okay, we're doing it for Scout today. We're doing it for my job. proud of this album, so it's really exciting to be able to play the music and see the reaction that the songs get. Sometimes, as an up-and-coming artist, it might feel like you don't have it all figured out and you're just really trying to figure out like who you are as an artist and your sound and all that stuff. But the truth is, you're always searching. I don't think that search ever stops. And that's the cool part about being an artist is you get to evolve, just make music and have fun and create. Eminem produced Come Up For Air and Kill For You. featured on Kill For You as well. But that was something that happened very last second. Kill For You was supposed to be a song for Rihanna. And then that didn't end up happening, but I was kind of happy about that because I loved the song and I wanted it for myself. <laughs> and then at the very last second, like two weeks before I had to turn my album in, uh, Marshall got back involved in like, you know, the mixing of the song. And I just mentioned, not expecting him to actually do it, but I mentioned to him like, you know, I've always, envisioned this song being a duet because th there's like almost this Bonnie and Clyde kind of theme to the song and it would be really nice to have both the female and male perspective of that on the song. I think it would be a more powerful message. So I told him that and I said, you know, try something if you feel like it and you don't have to, no pressure. And then when he turned in the, uh, the final mix, there was a verse on it from him and I was stoked and that was the day I turned in my album. <laughs> My name is Skylar Gray, and I just put out my new album. It's called Natural Causes. No one knows what we've been and no one knows men like you no matter. I could have waited for someone to come around, for someone who wouldn't leave a bad day in my mind. Look, we start off the project with Black Magic with Skylar Gray. Obviously, you two guys, you actually, I should say, you gentlemen and that gentlewoman over there, you guys have worked together over the years and always deliver great projects. She, she's not a she gentle starts, woman. She's not, she's a, not gentle. a gentleman. No, no. Is, is she not gentle? Like, she's harsh? <laughs> yeah, she's really mean to me. Yo, let me say this. And I know I, I tell her this all the time, but she's like, I've, I've had the privilege of working around a lot of in town you know it still gets me like it's still crazy to me sometimes when i'm working with dre and i'm looking at dre like you're fucking dr dre the skylar is one of the she's definitely she has to be i don't know how to say this top five of the most talented people i've ever worked with but i've worked with so many talented people but th the rate of speed that she works at a being able to write it and b being able to sing it and to sing it that powerful like she's she's an amazing talent
There's something magical about wine country. I love Campra. Do you taste it yet? I started coming to Napa my as a wine enthusiast, but it's not just the wine that kept me coming back. It's so important to me to have a place to escape to. It's the stunning landscape, the way the vines and the castles line the hillsides. And then, of course, I fell in love with the guy who lives here. We have I didn't know what true love really was until I found it. I kissed you. That was our, our first kiss. Yeah. And um, it was amazing. <laughs> <laughs> Every song I'm writing right now is about Elliot. They're all love songs. Hello. Who's this? Oh, sweet little angel. You are a pretty one, aren't you? <gasps> There it goes. I believe that in order to truly love someone, you have to love yourself first. Meaning, you have to come to a place in your life where you realize that you deserve to have what you want and that you don't have to settle. Where you have the confidence that no matter what happens, you are ultimately in control of your own happiness. I want my album to kind of show the world that true love does exist. It's out there, you can find it. Do what you love in an environment that you love, with the person that you love, and you'll live your best life. And for me, that's living in Napa with Elliot, making music and drinking great wine. Hey, babe. Yo. They sent us the scene. I think we should just watch them and like make notes. I'm stoked. <laughs> so these are from the movie right now? Yeah. Oh, rad. Thank you. I'm not interested. He defeated Steppenwolf and saved Atlantis. He's stubborn. Yeah, well, there's Massive two different love loves. Theme. There's the parents' love, and then there's this love. Yeah, and it's all like forbidden. Which we can relate to. Obviously, their love that wasn't meant to be was like yeah. actually really meant to be. Yeah. Kind of like us. Kind of like us. I like the mood that set. Oops. Cause baby, everything you are. Yeah, cause she needs to be singing. Everything I need. Yeah. That's it! That's it! That's it! <laughs> Born on the wrong side of the ocean, not the wrong side of the tracks.
Born on the wrong side of the sea. At least that's what you always say to me. But Ocean sings better. It does. Born on the wrong side of the ocean. Like, take the ocean away from it for a second and just like I make it personal. I can be very insecure, not like um, confident all the time. Yeah. And then you're always like, no, those are the things I love about you. Yeah. If only you could see yourself the way I see you. Yeah. <laughs> I wish you could see what I do. Yes, I like that. Love that. Born on the wrong side of the ocean with all the tides against you. Ooh, that's yeah. it. You. <laughs> Sounds really cool with the guitar. Okay, you ready? <clears throat> Born on the wrong side of the ocean. Born on the wrong side of the ocean. With all the tides against you. Never thought you'd be much good for anyone, but that's so far from the truth. I know there's pain in your heart, and you're covered in scars. Wish you could see what I do, cause baby. Well, guys, if you saw my latest post, you know that I am now a free agent. And that means I am free to put out music whenever I want to. So I've been working in the studio pretty much every day um, since, like, I can remember. And I have all this music stacked up in a folder <laughs> that has just been sitting on my computer, um, unfortunately. And now... I'm able to release it but it's there's so much music and I don't know how I'm gonna do it yet but just look out for it it'll be coming soon I think the first project I'm going to release is my concept project um, that I did the performance for on audience channel it's like the Fleetwood Mac folky kind of vibes that was recalling my roots and um, that's going to come out, I think, as a first of five song EP, but maybe not even call it an EP because in this digital age, you can just put out music and add to it. So I'm thinking like I put out these five songs that are in this certain feel and 
I'll just keep adding to it every time I write a song in that genre. And so the album starting out of five songs might end up having a hundred songs on it eventually. Um, because it's a digital age, so who says how many songs can be on an album? Taylor, I'll send you the video. <laughs> Bubba. I, I said the dream come true. Bubba. Come back to me. Oh. <laughs> oh my God. I'm sorry. Yo. We're just, we're just laying down fire this year, Taylor. I'm so excited. Thank you for that news. Yes, I was on the piano. <laughs> Sipping my tights, looking back at my life, remembering the highlights, thinking how the time flies. I'll be watching sunsets, and I won't have one regret. It's hard to see it at the moment, but in the end, I know that. Dipping my ties, looking back at my life. Remembering the highlights And thinking how the time flies I'll be sipping red wine Looking back on my life Remembering the stage fright The butterflies that night I'll be watching sunsets And I won't have one regret Cause I love you every moment And in the end I know that Sipping la, 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 Red la, wine Looking back, it's crazy to think this small town folk singer girl from Wisconsin ended up touring the world with 
people like Bruno Mars and Eminem. I guess that's proof that anything is possible. Do you remember that time we watched the shuttle blow up in the sky? So many photographs, so many photographs. No, they never came.